Yes, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2018. And in this series, I am a noob train driver and I am learning how to drive these things. So you can learn along with me. Now, this is part six in the series. So if you haven't checked out the other episodes, go and do that first before you check out this one. And let's just jump into the academy. We've uh, managed to nail quite a few of the basics. And we are now into refueling. Now, straight away, You'd, you'd probably think, well, these are going to be exactly the same. But what I learned from uh, the previous missions or the previous scenarios are that it, they can be quite different depending on the type of train. So let's jump into them. Here we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in an academy. In our academy. Oh, there's two people in there. We're back in our academy train number 0011. The SD70 Mac. In this lesson, we're going to learn about refueling. Pretty important. This locomotive runs on diesel fuel. It's almost 5,000 gallon. It's almost 5,000 gallon tank is enough for a family car to travel around the world 18 times. For a heavy freight train, though, this will likely only last a single day. Thirsty things. To refuel a locomotive, to refuel, man, I've got to learn how to read these things. A locomotive must be stopped next to an available fuel pump. As you can see, this one's already in place. Great. To begin, either hover the mouse over the fuel pump and click the left button, op or open the action menu and select the fuel button. Well, so, is this, this will be over here somewhere I suppose would be one, is it? You can monitor the refueling progress on the driving HUD. The gauge is represented by a fuel pump on the right of the centre, that's it there, okay. So, let's just do it this way, this seems to be the left click. Alright, you hold it down there, or, no. You just press it once and it's refueling. There you go, you see it. Right here, fueling to the top. We already had quite a bit in there. I'm not too sure why we're wasting all this money. And as you can see, if you hover over it, it shows you how many gallons. And the scenario is complete. Easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, moving right along. Refueling the DMU. Okay, catch you soon. And here we go again. It's the DMU quite a nice looking train and we're here at the pump again I'm picking that this is going to be pretty similar to the diesel locomotive let's uh, check it out this is a class 170 well it's a diesel unit also all right let's see what it's going to tell us this train operates on diesel fuel fuel most trains fill up fill up with fuel before they shift and this will last all day okay good to know to begin okay we know what to do here we just go like this we just click on that if we hover over our little diesel indicator here, we are filling up. Now, this is pretty straightforward for these two diesel trains. Exactly the same scenario. And you can also see over here that we're at a refueling point and uh, the little progress bar is is uh, moving up. I think that... Oh, there we go. We are done and done. Easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. We've got enough fuel to last us all day. The scenario is complete. We get another achievement and life is good. Right, these next two look a little bit different though. Let's have a look. Refueling coal. This must be for our steam train. Let's go and check that one out. And here we are. There goes some coal just sitting in that little shed there. I'm assuming we're going to be loading it into this steam locomotive. I can already see that the uh, the little cursor here has changed uh, colours. So that's probably given us a bit of a spoiler. Welcome back to the BR4F steam locomotive. We'll learn about loading coal. Man, the grammar on these things are terrible. To turn water into steam, the boiler must be heated. To achieve this, the locomotive burns fuel in a firebox. And it uses coal. There you go. The tender is a special wagon coupled to the cab. This must be it here. Specifically for carrying coal and water. This locomotive is already stopped next to the coal loading point. To start filling the tender with coal, click the left mouse button on the coal stage or press T. Let's go. Left. There we go. And look at that. It just automatically hops over the ledge and into the back of the train. No problem at all. And the scenario is complete. It's easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. The last one here's electric train. How are you f uh, refueling water? Oh, okay, no, of course, there's no electric, but that's telling us how to refuel coal for the steam train. Now it's going to show us how to refuel. I think I said refuel water. I mean replenish water is really what we want to be doing. Okay, this looks like a water pipe, and I'm guessing it just goes straight in there. Okay, we've got to load water in, that's what that says. A steam locomotive boils water to generate steam. This water is held in the tender before being pumped into the boiler. The tender must therefore be kept topped up. Okay, start filling the tank. Use the free camera and click on the water tower. Press T on the, or press T on the keyboard. Free camera, I believe, is number two. Uh, and 
we can go bumpfer. Here we go. It's got some animations going and it's just gonna fire it and there. there's no water coming out there, but our water tank, which it looks like this little thing over here, is filling up. It's saying it's already 99% full, so I don't know how much it's gonna add. So you can hear the water going in, you just can't see it. It's invisible water. Maybe it's already steam. We could still see it though. Anyway, the scenario is complete, guys. And that right there is how you refuel, replenish, and do whatever else you need to do to get these things going for all these different trains. So there you go. What we'll do is we'll finish the episode there. When we come back next time, we'll get into the safety systems. And I want to say a huge thanks very much for watching. Make sure you check out all the episodes. Leave your comments below. Press the like button. Subscribe. Do all that stuff. And until next time, take it easy.